Hello, youngster. How are you? Well, I'm Belen, and today we are going to see together class number four. Let's go to the virtual classroom. And here we can see the first handout we have to do today. The handout's name is People and Places. So let's go. Here we are. So if we pay attention to the statement, it says people and places. Where were these people yesterday? Write questions and answers. Use was, wasn't, where or weren't. Okay, so let's start by exercise one. Okay, you have to look at the first picture, of course. And here we have to complete the first one. So where, look at the subject. Our subject here is Susan. So if we look at the options, what do you think? Come on, write your answer on the chat. Where was, very good. Where was Susan yesterday? She, we are talking about Susan again, she. So she was at home, very good. She was in bed, very good. Now, look at the second picture. Here we have this picture that talks about Lucy and her dad, okay? So where Lucy and dad? So you can see here Lucy and dad, okay? So we can't use was. We're going to use were. Very good. Where were Lucy and dad? If you look at the picture, was Lucy at school? No. Okay. So if we are talking about Lucy, okay, our verb here will be was. In this case, negative because Lucy wasn't at school and dad very good, wasn't at work. If our subject here is they, okay, which is the verb you have to use here. Very good, they were in the street riding their bikes. Excellent. Let's do number three. If you look at this picture, all right, we can see the children, okay. They are talking about Tony and his friends. The subject is plural, okay? So the verb you have to use here is excellent, where? This is a question, okay? So the verb must be in the first place. Were Tony and his friends in an amusement park? No, they, and which is the verb? Is the same verb we use in the question. Very good. No, they weren't. Exactly. And the answer is they. Excellent. They were in the. And what about this place? Do you know this place? It starts with P. Very good. They were in the play, in the playground, having fun. Excellent. Now, let's look at the last picture, all right? The last picture talks about Jake, okay? So if Jake is only one person, the verb we are going to use in the question will be, very good, was. Was Jake in the shop, in his shop yesterday? If the answer starts with no, we are going to say, no, he, wasn't exactly no he wasn't he was very good on the and where was jake on the beach very good on the beach he all right here we're still talking about him it's only one person so he was on holiday very good Excellent. So remember the important things here. Every time we start a question, all right, remember to use the verb and you have to look at the subject first, okay? 
In this case, we use where because our, subje our subjects were Tony and his friends. In number four, for example, the question requires the verb was because we are talking about Jake. All right, very good. Now, let's go back to the virtual classroom. Okay, and before continuing with the second activity, we are going to talk about the homework, all right? Here in this part, we can see a handout and the name is, where were these people? Let's look at the homework. I'm going to explain how do you have to complete it. This is the handout, all right? Look at this, about last week. Continuamos hablando del pasado, okay? And here we have a question. Where were these people last week? Again, we can see last week again. So, the first exercise says, one, Mr. Black and his secretary mm -mm -mm, at work mm -mm -mm, week. So to complete these blanks, you have to pay attention to this first picture, okay? Now, you must remember the, the, the subjects you can see here. For example, in this case, we have one person, Mr. Black, another person, his secretary. So which is the verb you have to use here? Is it was? Is it where? Okay, try to think about this. Okay, you have to do the same with the rest of the exercise you have seen, you, you can see here. And then remember that you have to pay attention to the pictures. Okay, that is the homework. And then you have something else on the virtual classroom. You have an online practice. Okay, this is the online practice. Let's see it together. So here we are, Movers Exam Practice 2. In the first exercise, you have to look and read. Choose the correct words and write them on the lines. There is one example. Look at these words. A cinema, a plane, a shoulder, a beach, a boat, a photo, a towel, a dentist. Okay, and then you have this example. You can watch a new film here. So of course, it's a cinema. What about the rest? In exercise number one, you have the definition, all right? It's a part of your body. So you have to look for the word here and you write your answer in this space. In the second part, you have to read the text and choose the best answer, okay? Look at the example. The grandmother says, Bill, I've got to take you to your friend's birthday party now. So the answer that will, that Bill will use could be well, okay, or then, in this case, the correct one is okay. So here you will see questions. For example, in number one, the grandmother asks, where does your friend live? And here in the part that Bill answers, you will find three options, okay? Traten de elegir, en este caso, algo que describa, okay, en qué lugar vive su amigo, all right? And you have three, four, okay, you have six exercises, okay? That is the, on, the online practice. Okay, so now let's go back to our class for today. Okay, we must continue working. Okay, so now we have this handout. The name is Time Expressions. So let's check that handout. Okay, so let's read it together. Time Expressions in the past. Okay, ahora vamos a hablar de eh, time expressions son muy importantes y que tienen que ver con el pasado, claramente, que es el tema que estamos viendo. Let's read this. Complete the timeline, use these words. So, let's read the following words. 
a long time ago, three hours ago, yesterday, and last weekend. But in this part, we can read that the title says something about the timeline, all right? The timeline is una línea de tiempo, okay? Y debemos poner las palabras que encontramos dentro de esta box, okay? Que esté cada vez más cercano. El, el tiempo que pongamos acá es lo que tiene que estar más cercano a este periodo, en este caso, now. So the time expression we have to complete here must be the closer one to this period of time. In this case, it's now, okay? So let's start working together. We have this part, now. Okay, we have to look for another word that goes closer, algo que esté cerca a now. Which one could be last weekend? Mm. I don't think so. Write your answer on the chat, come on. Very good. Three hours ago, okay. Three hours, sorry, ago, very good. So this one, it's okay. Number two, okay. What about something that talks about the past, okay, not now, but something that is before three hours ago. What do you think? Are you sure? Very good, yesterday. Excellent, very good. So we have already used yesterday. Number three, what about the next one? We talked about yesterday, and the following could be, yes, exactly, very good, last weekend, excellent. And the last one, here we have this part that says past. Lo que pongamos acá es lo que más cercano al pasado va a estar, así como nos pasó con last weekend, okay? And very good our last option because we have already used last weekend. So here, the only option we have is a long time ago. Very good. Remember that you can ask your teacher through the chat on YouTube, all right? Okay, now we have to continue with the second exercise. The second exercise says, read the sentences, complete the time expressions. Here, and in the exercise, you can see clues. Van a ver que hay pistas porque tienen la cantidad de letras que tenemos que poner en cada una de las expresiones. Let's read number one that is already done. Today is 20th August. 6th August was two weeks ago. Ok, tenemos que sacar la cuenta. Nos está diciendo que si hoy fuese 20 de agosto, El 6 de agosto fue, ¿cuánto tiempo atrás? Bien, en este caso, two weeks ago. Now, let's look at exercise number two. Today is 20th March. 10th March was, ok, you have to count. Tienen que contar. In this case, we have, very good, 10, and here we are going to talk about days, okay? So 10 days ago, very good. Okay, number three. It, it is six o'clock. Two o'clock was, here we are talking about hours, all right? So it is six o'clock, two o'clock was, what do you think? Write your answer on the chat, come on. Very good, four hours ago. Very good. Number four, it is October. September was, here we are talking about months, only months. So, if it is October, tienen que imaginarse, okay, que es octubre. It is October. September was 
Excellent. Last month. Very good. And the last one. Number five. Pay attention. It is 2013. 2012 was... Here we talk about years. So, 2012 was last year. Very good, excellent, very good. Now, here we have to think. In exercise number three, imagine it's 31st December. How long ago was, debemos imaginarnos que es 31 de diciembre, que nuestro día de hoy es 31 de diciembre. Entonces tenemos que poner y completar este ejercicio cuánto tiempo pasó según las fechas que vemos a continuación. Let's look at the first example. 31st October, ¿cuánto tiempo pasó del 31 de octubre a la fecha de hoy que nos estamos imaginando que es 31 de diciembre? Two months ago. All right, now let's do together number two. 21st December. What do you think? Here we have to talk about days, okay? Because we are in the same month, okay? Estamos en el mismo mes del que se supone que nos estamos imaginando. All right, so here you have to only write how long ago was. So here we have to write 10 days ago. Very good. And 24th December? Write your answer on the chat. Come on. Very good. Seven. Seven days ago. Very good. What about number four? Christmas Day. Do you know when is Christmas Day? Okay, very good. 25 December, remember 25. Okay, so we are going to complete six days ago. Very good. Five, 31st July. And we are on, pay attention to this date, 31st December. So here we have to talk about months. Very good. And how many months? Exactly, very good, five. So we say five months ago. Excellent. And the last one, number six, your birthday. Okay, here you have to complete according to your birthday. In my case, my birthday is September, it's on September the 1st. So here, if I have to write using my birthday as an example, I have to write three months ago because we are imagining that we are in December, all right? Okay, very good. Let's go back to the virtual classroom. And here we find a handout and the name of the handout is Alien, all right? We have to make this handout that goes with the listening part, all right? Let's go. We are going to complete this part. Let's read together. Listen to the alien and complete the table, okay? So here we can see that we have information. The first part of the audio, all right? you are going to find this part of the information. So we have to complete the spaces here, all right? Well, let's listen. Recuerden que la información que ya aparece acá nos va a servir para completar el resto. Miremos la primera parte. 20 years ago, here maybe you must complete this with a number, years ago, he was on his spaceship last weekend and yesterday, okay? So are you ready? Let's play the audio. Unit 3A, exercise five. Listen and look at the pictures. Write the time expressions. Where were you 20 years ago?
I was on my planet. Was it fun there? Oh, yes, it was fantastic. But 19 years ago, my life was different. Where were you 19 years ago? I was on my spaceship. The journey to your planet was very long, but last weekend I was finally on Earth. And where were you yesterday? I was at the cinema. There was a film about spaceships. <laughs> I'm sure you were happy. <laughs> I was. Okay, that was a funny audio, right? Don't you think so? Okay, don't worry. We are going to listen to the audio again, okay? A. Exercise 5. Listen and look at the pictures. Write the time expressions. Where were you 20 years ago? I was on my planet. Was it fun there? Oh yes, it was fantastic. But 19 years ago, my life was different. Where were you 19 years ago? I was on my spaceship. The journey to your planet was very long. But last weekend, I was finally on Earth. And where were you yesterday? I was at the cinema. There was a film about spaceships. <laughs> I'm sure you were happy. <laughs> I was. Okay, very good. So now I think that we are ready to complete this exercise. So write your answer on the chats. Come on, I want to see your answers. 20 years ago, we are talking about the alien, so we're going to use the subject, he, okay? But what do you think, kids? 20 years ago, where was he? So, he, very good, he was on his planet. Very good. Now, the girl asked, how many years ago? Can you write your answer on the chat? Very good, 19 years ago. And he answered, he was on his spaceship. Then, last weekend. Can you write your answer on the chat? Come on. Very good, he was finally on Earth. Estaba finalmente en el planeta. And yesterday? What about yesterday? Do you remember? Very good. He was at the cinema. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So now you are going to continue working with your teacher through Zoom. All right? Okay, kids. See you. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.